morning and welcome my friends to another Subi Shays video with me on a beautiful morning. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. You know I've got to say, Subi smiles to all of you and squad goals. Thank you so much for clicking in today, share video, and for joining me. Hopefully wherever you're tuning in from in the world today, you've got yourself something cold and delicious in your hand and you're sitting in a comfy chair. Will it on in and welcome. I'm thrilled to have you here. I honestly am super excited. We're going to be diving in and using this brand new Yachty Razor. This is the Tachi head and the Suka handle set up together for a 96 gram total stainless steel single edge. Um, this uses a half DE razor blade that just barely, barely, barely hit the market. I'm absolutely ecstatic to be using this today. We're going to be talking about kind of my experience with their previous generation, the Yachty Katana and the scallop bar, you know, the smaller, thinner head and how this shaved and finding out how this shaves on the dome today. I can tell you this, the face shave was efficient. It really blew through 72 hours. That's right. Three full days of growth. Chomped through it with some Persona Lab Blues. And today we're going to find out how it does, how it maneuvers, how it performs for a dome shape. I'm going to be super, super happy today. And I'm really excited to knock off all of that growth. We're going to be using First Line Shaves Origins. This is a beautiful set that is inspired by PDM Carlisle. It's a great set. I know that some people mentioned this, this set is uh, uh, really more of a fall scent. But for me, I like it. I don't care the, the, if it smells nice and it makes me want to wear it. I don't care if it's summer, winter, fall. I think it smells really good. I really enjoy this scent. Now, how it compares to the actual, I think it's a little bit low, um, lower on scent strength than like an actual cologne, of course. But I think it's very complex. It's very dynamic. And I absolutely love what Michael did with this scent. I think he just killed it. Absolutely fantastic stuff. First line shave origin just barely hit the market. Really love it. I think it's cool that the way he dips the hand, um, the bottle into wax. Look at this. I think this right here is just a nice little touch for the, you know, the extra effort he puts into his products. I think this is really cool. It smells phenomenal. Great say I'm staying strength when it comes to this actual scent and projection. I, I opened the bottle. I'm like, oh yeah, that's really nice. It smells very masculine, seductive. Um, it's a sophisticated scent. I do think it is a darker scent and I think it's spicy. Um, it verges on, you know, like makes you want to reach in and smell a little bit more. I like this a lot. Smells expensive. Smells bougie. Really, really good scent. Carlisle, again, from PDM or a, the Origin. Now we've got it whipped up already in our Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Dreamscape Scuttle, which I just can't live without. You know that. Cannot live without. And it did an awesome job with my Yachi Professional Twist Brush. I have not talked about the Yachi series enough. I really, really love Love this stuff. Take a look here. Just absolutely slick and shiny, beautiful lather already on the dome, ready to get knocked off. We'll add a little extra just to show you here. There's no smoke and mirror magic going on. No Subi nonsense. This is just absolutely fantastic lather in a great brush. And I'm super excited again that you're here for today's shave. If I haven't mentioned it, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you haven't, please go low below, smash that sub button, hit that comment button. Let's chat. I'd love to interact while I am shaving. Take, let's take a look here. Now the Suka handle, let's get really, really um, technical about this. This is very, very similar to the Blackland handle, right? Very similar. The difference is the Blackland handle has a little neck up here for their razor, for that head specifically, the Blackland, um, the Blackbird has a, it needs that notch on their handle in order to interact with their head. This one does not have it. And as you can see, it fits nice and flush straight to the surface where I've used a spacer. Now, why I like that is because if you're a person that has used the Blackland um, handle and love it, but you don't like that little extra raised portion on normal DE heads, right? This may be give you that option of having a cleaner, more streamlined look while, you know, not necessarily having to use the Blackland product. Now, I love the handle. I love the shape, but I do want to call out the fact that the razor, the handle, the shape, the design is very, very similar. Now, I took some photos. This is a little bit longer than the standard Blackland handle, but other than that, they are very similar fit, fill, finish. These are actually smoother. I think this handle is a little thicker and actually a little smoother inside these rivets so you don't have quite the same grip that the blacklid razor uh, handle produces so i do think they're different enough 
but I wanted to call it out. The head itself is very unique. I've not seen something similar to this uh, other than by Yachi. I really like this. It is taller, as you can see, compared to their Katana. It also is not rounded. If you look at the back of the Katana, it's rounded where this is flat. See how that's like, like flat and this one's actually rounded? You can see that they've done some extra things. They've uh, not made the bar scallop. And on top of that, they've increased the pin size inside the head cap. And I think that's why it's a little bit taller so that the blade is secured better. Now, a lot of us had problems with the ZMAC uh, original head where it did not have the um, pins very tall. I could fit an injector blade in there and it fit nice and flush and I had no problems loading it that way. I don't think you could do that with this razor just simply because the pins are actually present and they do secure the blade, which I prefer. It's surprising. I know I know some of you are sitting there like, really? Subi wants his blade secure? Wait, since when? Yeah, I like it. I like it when it's nice and tight and strong and I do not ever want that blade wobbling and I think this really goes to uh, an extra length to make sure that half DE razor razor blade is nice, secure, tight, and it really produces a lot of clamping pressure, so you're not going to get any chatter. Let's get some swipes down and see how it does. Now, this is a razor that I have waited for on the market for so long, you know, because I love the original, but the ZMAC on mine was even starting to wear away. I bought two of them, and one of mine like completely disintegrated just from over overuse. Now I love this stainless steel is not going to have that problem, right? This is a lifetime piece. You buy it once for $48 and it's staying with you for $48. The uh, entire razor as assembled is 96 grams. So it's a little hefty. And because of that, I do recommend using a little alum because this is a beautiful mirror polish, right? Look at that mirror. I did not do any work to mine. This came straight from them just like this. For $48, you're getting a high polish super high mirror beautiful single edge razor that i'm telling you is smooth look at this it is deceptive if you're a person that goes in and you know loves to press i would highly 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 recommend not doing that with this razor because it will beat you up you can see here we went from 72 hours straight up three full days to nothing Take a look, laser level, absolutely efficient for days, no issues, and that's on the with the grain pass. With the grain, absolutely smooth for days, really beautiful razor. Now, I'm going to call this out. I had Yachi originally send me the, um, the Tachi head before it hit production. I wanna call this, um, I wanna mention it, I, I asked them before it went to production if I could get one, if we could test it out on channel, if we could do some battles with it. Well, in their excitement, they sent it to me um, before it really had all the bugs polished out. And no pun intended, the one they re I received had some chip marks and had some issues on the cap. I reached out to him. I said, hey, mine has the, some markings and stuff. It looks like, you know, maybe it didn't go through that final phase of polishing. They reached back to me and said, we'll send you a new one. Don't worry. But we'll, the one we send you will be part of the production run. So if you're ordering now, yours is going to look very, very similar to this. The one I got originally did not. It had a lot of waves and a lot of issues. And I had, when I actually filmed our unboxing video, I had to kind of play around the light and angles to make sure that, um, that it wasn't clearly like, you know, obvious how bad the um, finish was on that pre-production. And that just goes to show you that, you know, when things are in, you know, testing and prototype phases, that they are not, maybe not dialed in as tightly as they could be. Now, as is, I am just loving it. I think this is phenomenal. I love a razor that is efficient, but very smooth. This for me is very, very smooth, very efficient. Man, I, my hair could have been styled at, at one point. You know what I mean? I could have gone to a, an actual stylist and said, give me that handsome Rob look. I was getting up there. I needed the shave. It is very, very, very smooth for the amount of growth that it's wiping off. I really like that a lot. I think it's very nice. I love how um, it kind of just goes straight to the angle you need to shave with. I know at least three of you right now are asking yourselves, how does this compare to something like the Twig? They also uses a single edge razor blade. Um, that's a half DE, right? A snap DE blade. How does it compare against the, you know, the the um, Focus product? How does it fo other other comparable razors? For me, I really think that the stainless still feels different across the skin. There's something about that polished stainless that just feels different than all the other competitors' products because they're not stainless. Now the Focus Dynamic stainless razor, because it does pivot, it feels much different, and it also has a much smaller head this is very tall 
even compared to their other one that they produced, right? Their, uh, the Katana, this is very tall. And as such, it lets you do two things. You have a different angle of shave. I find with the Katana, I go very steep. And with the Tachi, I'm going very, very shallow, almost with a, like a 1912 angle where I'm letting the whole entire part of my skin sit on across that entire cap, right? I'm not actually riding it up like this. I'm letting it go all the way down to the cap and riding smooth. And for me, that seems to be where the most efficiency is occurring. The sweet spot, as we like to call it, the most efficiency for the least amount of chatter. Uh, that's just for me. So they do shave, in my opinion, differently. I think this and the actual, the original ZMAC variation shave very differently as far as the amount of efficiency and even the angle, the fill, and the smoothness, the glide. I actually think the original is probably a little bit, a hair less aggressive and a hair um, little, like I would say more, I'm just going to say it, it more user friendly. You can see here, we're still knocking it off, still coming down. It is probably high medium on, on aggressiveness. High medium, I would not put this as a super aggressive. I would say high, high medium. Um, definitely not even into the low. And if you've had a very, 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 um, you know, if you've experienced the Freddy Krueger of razors, of, of the, you know, ancient and to even today, I would say this falls more as the low or medium part of middle. Maybe just right smack dab in the middle. Now, as far as the thorn goes, I think the thorn is probably just a hair, just a titch um, smoother. And when it comes to efficiency, just a little bit more efficient. But I do like that this razor supports the fact that you can use any DE handle that's um, in your arsenal. So if you own a three-piece DE razor and you want to switch out the handle, this will support that, which I, I like. I know that the thorn, you know, if you don't love the handle, you're kind of make or break, right? That's There's no way to change it. So I like that. I'm not going to do a ton of buffing with this razor because I can already fill. We are very close. And it is definitely efficient enough where over buffing is going to cause irritation. Very smooth shave. Very easy with the Persona Lab Blues to knock down 72 hours. You could see we took it right off. We're not having any issues. And that's how it worked for my neck too. You can see my neck. It was just gobs and gobs of stubble coming right off my face. Gobs and gobs. It's, I wouldn't call it um, squeegee for stubble, right? I had to do a little bit of buffing, a little bit of cleanup passes. But for 60 bucks, 70 bucks, depending on if you get in there and you use a discount from AliExpress, this, I think, is an awesome razor that anybody would enjoy in a single-edge stainless steel platform. A lot of us have been asking for a company to produce a single-edge um, uh, stainless steel razor, right, at an affordable price. Yachi did it. I really enjoy this. I think it's going to hit a lot of people's like bench, you know, check marks and be like a benchmark against other single-edge razors that will come out. I really, really enjoyed that shave. You can see here. No irritation. We're letting it sit for a second just to double check that we're not having problems. It was fast, it was comfortable, and it was close. Again, this is a brand new offering from the Yachi lineup, right? Brand new. And again, their stainless steel stuff just continues to impress. It is just an awesome shave. The alum has no issues, no flare-ups, no burning. You can see I'm throwing alum straight on the skin here. Straight up. Fantastic shave. Fantastic, squeaky, super nice, smiles only, positive vibes only. We're going on here with a little bit of the splash. Absolutely love this stuff, man. Love this stuff. Beautiful. It is going to be um, one of those ones that I pick up year round. I know I, I, I have talked to people that mention that they think it's your, you know, it's a winter fragrance and, and it's a more of a fall fragrance. I don't care. I'm also the kind of person that would run Victor Spice Bomb. You know what I mean? I would run that year round. I like, there's certain scents that just really, um, that make my nose happy. I'm just going to put it that way. Make my nose happy. This is one of them. I love this. Again, beautiful fragrance, but absolutely fantastic. A bougie luxury line fragrance, in my opinion, that is uh, available right now from First Line Shapes over on their website. And TRC just got it. So that's really cool. Really, really, really awesome shave. I like this. I think I like this better than their original, especially the fact that it secures the blade better, that it's made out of pure stainless steel, that it's polished beautifully, that their quality um, and really attention to detail makes sense. I like the new handle paired with this razor. I think overall for 70 bucks ish, 
that's that's definitely a buyable. That's a pick upable. And I think the majority of people that would use this razor would either find it, you know, to be the sweet spot of aggressive to efficiency, or it, uh, you know, maybe just slightly a hair, uh, you know, le uh, t less efficient than they would want, which can be upped with more sharp plates. I think this is really sweet. Again, I think it's a product being produced for the masses, for the masses at a price that the masses won't flinch at. Really cool, awesome razor. Again, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video and if you're going to consider buying yourself the Yachi razor. Right? I've got my hand right here. I really like it. The Tachi and the Suka. Really great. Thank you again for joining me for it. And until I see you guys again, soups. Ha 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 ha!